12 places women want to be touched, where and how to touch a woman, most men miss this. Leave a like on the video and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new tips. Touch is one of the main ways to connect and communicate with someone. The other is with words. Now, touch allows you to really connect to a woman, and research shows that men have a lot more luck with women when they understand how and where they should touch her. Men often think it is easy to know how to touch a woman, but it is actually an art and a lot more complicated than men actually think. Women, after all, are all different to men, and this means that they like different things. Now, women are typically kinesthetic in nature, so this means that their tactile perception prevails over vision, hearing, and other senses. The female body has a larger amount of receptors compared to a man, and this is because of a zone of the woman's body called the erogenous zone. Women know that they are much more sensitive to touch compared to men, which is why they, on average, touch these areas six more times a day than a man would. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about when you should touch a woman and the 12 places women want to be touched by you so that you can master the art of touch. Here we go. Knowing when to touch a woman is important to start with because if you don't know when to touch a woman, it doesn't matter where you actually touch her, it won't do anything. Women do have more receptors in their body compared to men, which means they are much more sensitive to touch. These receptors only work, though, when they want to be touched. If a woman is giving you all of the signs that she is interested, then she probably is open to being touched by you. If she seems like she is not interested, though, then she does not want to be touched. Women like being asked if a man can touch them first, and you can do this by saying something like, can I hold your hand? This is called breaking the touch barrier, but it should only happen if the woman also wants it to happen. Their hair, women love nothing more than a man running his fingers through her hair. It's hard to explain why we like it so much, but it makes us feel safe and loved. It's something that you can do while you are watching a TV show or sitting waiting for coffee. It's such a small thing, you may think that she won't notice. Little do you know that she will notice, and it's going to give her butterflies in her stomach. Her scalp, a woman's scalp is very receptive to touch. It can make her shiver when someone touches it or massages it. Then she will feel instantly relaxed. It's a great thing to do when she feels nervous about something or if she's looking stressed. She will really appreciate it, and it shows her how much you do care about her. Their ears, that's right, ears are very sensitive to touch. Both men and women like having their ears touched and also kissed. It's something that most men miss, though, or forget about. It can be something that is touched during sex, so when you are both intimately watching a movie. Ears are both a sexual touch receptor and an emotional one, so you can't go wrong by touching them. Their neck, I am sure you know that the neck is a highly sensitive place to touch. This is often read about in books or seen in movies, and women love it when a guy kisses their neck or runs his hands across the back of her neck. It is normally a sexual touch receptor, but it can make some ladies feel safe. So if you are wanting to touch a lady in the bedroom, though, the neck is a great place to start. Their upper back, women really enjoy their upper back being touched and also massaged. Now you could grab massage oil and offer to give her one. You could even make a date night out of it, or you could just surprise her by rubbing your hands up her back. It is definitely a relaxing touch point, but you never know where a massage might lead. Plus, this area of the body is something they cannot reach and touch themselves with, so it's going to feel amazing. Their arms, arms are probably one of the most touched areas. They can touch their arms themselves, of course, but also it is normally the first place that guys touch. Men might touch women's arms when talking to them on a first date, so it is normally a spot that you would touch early on. Their hands, girls really love it when a guy holds their hand. This is going to make her feel safe and light, and there is no better feeling for a girl than walking down the street and holding a guy's hand. Hands are also very sensitive to touch, though, which they can be used in a man's favor. You can massage her hands or touch them softly when you're starting to get a little bit closer. Their wrists, a woman's wrist has often been thought about as a sexual sacred part of the body. Touching them can actually feel really good, and they are one of their touch receptors, so why not give it a go? Just try not to grab their wrists unless that is something that they do like. Their lips, lips are another place that you can touch and kiss, and it's an obvious place, but so often it is not touched enough and it's forgotten about. Now kissing is one way to do it, but the other way is to place your fingers near their lips. Their inner thigh, this is something that you can touch when you and a woman are getting close. Girls enjoy it when a guy touches their inner thighs, 
and it's a sexual place to touch. If you are wanting to get a girl in the mood, then try touching her inner thigh while you are getting close, and we'll see what happens. Their knees, who would have thought that a woman's knees would be a place that she likes to be touched? It is a reassuring place to touch a woman. For example, if she was getting bad news, it might be a good idea to touch her knee, or if she needs some support in a social situation, then it might be a good place to touch. Now women are more emotional than men and often need this additional support through touch if they are dating a guy. Their waist, women love it when a man grabs them by the waist. It is one of the parts of a woman's body that is different to a man's. It's often the smallest part of a woman's main trunk, and that is why they like it when a man grabs and appreciates it. Often a woman will wear a dress or even a t-shirt and a skirt that accentuates the waist. This is to encourage a man to grab their waist or to simply appreciate it. Her face, this one is an interesting one. No one really loves their face being touched, especially if it is by someone that they are not really comfortable or close with. To touch a woman's face and for it to be received well, you need to know her, and you need to be serious with her. You can start by touching her cheek before touching any other part of the face, and if she lets you touch her face, it's a sign of trust and that she really does like you. Some of these spots you might have already known about, whereas others might have come as quite a surprise. And now that you know the 12 places that women want to be touched, you can try these spots out for yourself and we'll see how the lady reacts. And there you go, we've reached the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you liked this video or if I missed something very important from today's list. I hope this video has helped you gain a deep understanding of female psychology. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or anything else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. What her body language is screaming but she won't say, decode her silent signals. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Have you ever found yourself wondering what's really going on in a woman's mind when you're chatting her up? Well, wonder no more. For this video, we're diving deep into the secret world of female body language, those silent signals that reveal her true feelings and intentions. And by the end, you will be a master at reading her non-verbal messages and taking your flirting game to the next level. So sit back, grab a notepad, and get ready to unlock the mysteries of the female mind. Exposing her neck and playing with her collar, when a woman exposes her neck or fiddles with her collar while talking to you, it's a subconscious sign of vulnerability and attraction. By drawing attention to this delicate area, she's signaling her comfort and openness to your presence. It's like she's saying, I trust you enough to let my guard down. And this subtle gesture is a powerful indicator that she's feeling a strong connection and is receptive to your advances. The deer in headlights look, if you catch her staring at you with a startled, wide-eyed expression, it's a dead giveaway that she's been admiring you from afar. She's captivated by your presence but wasn't expecting to get caught in the act. This, deer in the headlights, look is a clear sign that she finds you irresistible and can't help but steal glances when she thinks you're not looking. It's a moment of vulnerability that reveals her true feelings. Adjusting her posture to appear more approachable, if she suddenly straightens her posture and crosses her arms or turns her body towards you, she's making herself more approachable and open to interaction. It's a silent invitation to come closer and strike up a conversation. By adjusting her body language to be more welcoming, she's signaling that she wants to engage with you and is eager for your attention. This subtle shift is a green light to make your move. Twirling or playing with objects while talking to you, if a woman fidgets with objects like her glass or jewelry while chatting with you, it's often a sign of nervous energy and attraction. She's subconsciously trying to release the tension and excitement she feels in your presence. This playful, distracted behavior is a telltale sign that she's feeling the sparks fly and is trying to manage her heightened emotions. Pay attention to these little fidgets, they speak volumes about her interest. The accidental skin-to-skin -skin contact, if she finds excuses to touch you during conversation, whether it's a light brush of the arm or a playful nudge, it's a clear sign of physical attraction. These seemingly accidental touches are her way of testing the waters and gauging your reaction. By initiating this skin-to-skin -skin contact, she's expressing her desire for closeness and intimacy. If you respond positively, it's a signal to her that the feeling is mutual. Tilting her pelvis towards you while standing, when a woman angles her pelvis towards you during conversations, it's a subconscious signal of sexual interest. She's orienting her body towards you in a way that suggests openness and receptivity to your advances. 
This subtle tilt is a powerful indication that she's feeling the chemistry and is physically drawn to you. It's a primal, instinctive gesture that reveals her deepest desires. Licking or pursing her lips while listening, if you catch her licking or pursing her lips while listening to you speak, it's a subtle sign of sensual thoughts and attraction. She may be imagining what it would be like to kiss you or simply savoring the sound of your voice. This subconscious oral fixation is a clear indication that she's feeling the heat and is lost in fantasies of intimate moments with you. Maintaining open and receptive body language, if her overall body language remains open and relaxed in your presence, uncrossed arms, facing towards you, leaning in, it's a strong indication of comfort and interest. She's subconsciously showing that she's engaged and eager to connect. This open, inviting posture is a silent way of saying, I'm here, I'm present, and I'm enjoying your company. It's a positive sign that she's fully invested in the interaction. Primping behaviors when she sees you, if she starts fixing her hair, adjusting her clothes, or checking her appearance when she spots you, it's a clear sign that she wants to look her best for you. These primping behaviors reveal her desire to make a strong impression and capture your attention. By primping and polishing, she's silently communicating that your opinion matters to her and that she wants to be seen as attractive in your eyes. Playing with her hair while talking to you, when a woman twirls or plays with her hair while conversing with you, it's often a flirtatious gesture that signifies attraction. She's drawing attention to her femininity and showcasing her interest in a playful, coy manner. This absent-minded fiddling is a way of releasing nervous energy and keeping her hands busy while she navigates the excitement of talking to you. It's a charming, girlish signal that she's feeling the butterflies. The telltale signs of nervous laughter, if her laughter seems a bit too frequent, high-pitched, or prolonged around you, it could be a sign of nervous excitement. She's feeling the butterflies and can't quite contain her giddiness in your presence. This quirky, uncontrollable laughter is a clear indication that she's smitten and is trying to manage her intense emotions. It's a sweet and endearing sign that she's falling for you. Leaning in and closing the distance, when a woman consistently leans towards you during conversation, she is subconsciously trying to close the physical gap between you. This proximity seeking is a clear sign of interest and a desire for intimacy. By invading your personal space in a gentle and unobtrusive way, she's signaling that she craves closeness and connection. It's a subtle dance of attraction that speaks volumes about her intentions. Mirroring your body language and gestures, if you notice her subtly copying your posture, gestures, or facial expressions, it's a powerful sign of rapport and attraction. Mirroring is a subconscious way of building connection and showing that she's in sync with you. By echoing your nonverbal cues, she's demonstrating that she's tuned into your every move and is eager to establish a special bond. This silent mimicry is a surefire sign of budding romance. Crossing her ankles towards you while seated, when a seated woman crosses her ankles in your direction, it's a subtle sign of interest and engagement. She's orienting her body towards you even in a more relaxed and casual position. This simple gesture speaks volumes about her focus and attention. She's subconsciously pointing herself in your direction like a compass needle drawn to its true north. It's a quiet, understated way of showing that you are the center of her world in that moment. The playful shoulder bump or nudge, if she gives you a gentle shoulder bump or nudge during conversation, it's a flirtatious and playful way of breaking the touch barrier. These light teasing touches are a clear sign of budding attraction. By initiating this physical contact, she's signaling that she's comfortable with you and wants to escalate the intimacy. It's a fun, light-hearted way of expressing her interest and engaging your receptiveness to her advances. Subtly mimicking your speech patterns or phrases, if you catch her echoing your unique words, phrases, or speech patterns, it's a subconscious sign of rapport and attraction. By mirroring your language, she is showing that she's tuned in and eager to establish a special connection. This verbal synchronicity is a way of creating a shared language and demonstrating that you're on the same wavelength. It's a subtle yet powerful way of building intimacy and solidifying your bond. Tilting her head and showing interest, when a woman tilts her head while listening to you speak, it's a sign of genuine interest and engagement. It's literally giving you her ear, demonstrating her fascination with your words and ideas. This simple gesture is a way of conveying her undivided attention and showing that she's fully present in the moment. It's a non-verbal cue that she's hanging on your every word and is eager to learn more about you. Now remember, body language is a complex and nuanced dance. It's not about interpreting each gesture in isolation but rather reading the overall picture in context. And when you see multiple positive signals working in harmony, you can be sure that she's feeling the sparks fly. 
And there you have it. Now that you know what body language to pay attention to, what's next for you? Discover how a woman greets you when she's crazy about you or learn how to tell if she has a high sex drive. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word 100% or anything else to let me know to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. Women can't help chasing men with these social skills. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Have you ever wondered what kind of social skills really captivate a woman's interest, making her want to chase a man? Well, today we're going to unravel this mystery. Now, it's not just about being charming or witty. There are specific social skills that can make a man irresistibly attractive to a woman. These are the traits that can draw women in and make them want to pursue you. And by the end of this video, you will understand what these skills are and how to cultivate them to enhance your social allure. Our bonus tip at the end today discusses some effective tips for communicating with women, so be sure not to miss it. Now, let's get started. Humor and wit, having a sense of humor and wit is a powerful social skill that can attract women. It's not just about telling jokes but more about using humor effectively to create a light-hearted and enjoyable atmosphere. It involves being able to see the funny side of things, making clever remarks, and enjoying playful banter. This skill demonstrates intelligence, creativity, and a positive outlook on life. Women often find men who can make them laugh and think simultaneously very appealing. To showcase your sense of humor, don't force jokes or try too hard to be funny. Instead, let your natural humor come through in conversations. Be attentive to her reactions to gauge what type of humor she appreciates. Wit isn't about belittling others or being sarcastic at someone's expense. It's about quick thinking and cleverness that enhances the interaction. Remember, the key is to create a fun and comfortable environment where both of you can enjoy a good laugh. Confident communication. Confident communication is a vital social skill that can significantly attract women. It's about expressing yourself in a clear, concise, and confident manner. This doesn't mean being loud or overbearing but rather speaking with assurance and purpose. Confident communicators can articulate their thoughts and feelings effectively, listen actively, and engage in meaningful conversations. This skill conveys self-assuredness, assertiveness, and the ability to handle social situations with ease. To showcase confident communication, focus on speaking clearly and maintaining good eye contact. Practice active listening, showing that you value what she says and responding thoughtfully. Avoid filler words and be concise in your speech. Remember. Confidence in communication also involves being honest and open in your interactions. Your goal is to create a genuine connection through your conversations, demonstrating both your ability to speak and to listen. Flirting skills Flirting skills are an integral part of the social toolkit that can be irresistibly attractive to women. It's not just about throwing compliments, it's about flirting in a way that's fun, charming, and appropriate. Good flirting involves a mix of playful banter, light teasing, and showing genuine interest in a respectful manner. It's an art that combines humor, wit, and subtlety. To flirt effectively, be observant of her reactions and adapt accordingly. Use lighthearted teasing and humor to create a playful atmosphere. Show interest in her by asking engaging questions and listening to her responses. Maintain a balance, being flirtatious without overstepping boundaries. Remember, successful flirting is about making her smile and establishing a connection, rather than impressing or overwhelming her. Body language mastery. Mastering body language is a crucial social skill that can make a significant impact on how women perceive you. It's about using nonverbal cues to convey confidence, interest, and openness. Good body language includes maintaining eye contact, standing tall, and using gestures that indicate engagement. It's also about being able to read her body language and respond appropriately, creating a sense of connection without words. To master body language, be aware of your posture and your gestures, making sure they convey openness and confidence. For instance, avoid crossing your arms or looking down, as these can be perceived as closed off or insecure. Instead, use open gestures, lean in slightly when she's talking, and nod to show you are engaged. Mirroring her body language subtly can also create a sense of rapport. And remember, body language should complement your verbal communication, creating a harmonious and attractive presence. Charisma and personal charm Charisma and personal charm are powerful social skills that can significantly attract women. Charisma is that magnetic appeal or aura that some individuals naturally exude, making them incredibly engaging and appealing. 
It involves a combination of confidence, warmth, and authenticity. Charismatic men can light up the room, draw people in, and make them feel important and noticed. Personal charm, on the other hand, is about being gracious, courteous, and genuinely interested in others. It's about making people, especially women, feel special and valued in your presence. To exude charisma and charm, focus on being genuinely interested in the people around you. Practice active listening, engaging in meaningful conversations, and show empathy. Maintain a positive attitude, offer sincere compliments, and share your enthusiasm. Remember, charisma isn't about being the loudest in the room, it's about having a presence that's both inviting and captivating. Personal charm comes from being considerate, respectful, and making others feel comfortable and appreciated. These qualities can make you irresistible and create a lasting impression. Assertiveness without aggression, assertiveness is a key social skill that involves expressing your needs, desires, and opinions in a clear, direct, and respectful way. It's about being confident and self-assured without being aggressive or overbearing. Women are often drawn to men who can say what they want and stand up for themselves, all while being considerate and kind. This balance shows emotional intelligence and maturity, qualities that are highly attractive. To practice assertiveness, focus on clear and honest communication. State your opinions and desires confidently but always be open to listening to others. Avoid being pushy or forceful, instead, be firm yet respectful. It's also important to be aware of your tone and body language, ensuring they match your words in conveying a positive and assertive message. Show that you can lead and make decisions but do so with kindness and consideration. This balanced approach can make you very appealing and respected. Expressing vulnerability appropriately, expressing vulnerability in a genuine and appropriate manner is a social skill that can deeply resonate with women. It's about showing your human side, sharing feelings, doubts, or fears in a way that's honest and authentic. This doesn't mean oversharing or using vulnerability as a tactic. It's about letting your guard down at the right moments to show that you are relatable and real. Men who can appropriately express vulnerability demonstrate emotional depth, confidence in their self-awareness, and a level of trustworthiness that can be very attractive to women. To appropriately express vulnerability, share personal stories or experiences that shaped you, but do so in a contextually relevant and sensitive manner. Be sincere in your disclosures and ensure that it's done in a setting where such sharing is appropriate. It's also important to gauge the level of comfort and trust in the interaction before opening up. This kind of genuine self-revelation can forge deeper connections, showing that you're not just strong but also emotionally open and mature. Bonus tip, effective storytelling techniques for an extra edge in social skills. Let's dive into effective storytelling techniques. Storytelling is a powerful tool in communication, captivating attention, and creating emotional connections. To master this, focus on building a narrative that is engaging, relatable, and has a clear point. Use descriptive language to paint vivid pictures, vary your tone to maintain interest, and include personal experiences to add authenticity. Good stories often have a bit of suspense or humor and always an element that listeners can connect with. Effective storytelling can captivate women's interest, making your interactions memorable, and your persona more intriguing, thus enhancing your overall appeal. So now that you know which social skills are most important to women, what's next for you? Discover the proven signs that you are her biggest crush or learn what girls do when they want you to touch them. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.